Hello again everyone, um, it's nice to be back on the bank again. It's the 29th of January 2024. My first outing this year on the River Wye at Hereford. Um, it's been pretty successful so far today. I've had about maybe 15 chub. A lot of them are uh, pound or so in weight. Maybe the biggest about pound and a quarter. But it's gone really well in the morning. I like sort of uh, been using a bolo rod, first time I've used it, never used one before in my life. Um, this is one through the eyes in this, telescopic, 22 foot long. So it was a, a really bit of a, a problem for me, it, it, that is, uh, using it because you don't realise that you pick these rods up, just how heavy they are to use because of their length as well. So after I caught four fish, I put that down. And um, I'm fishing with a 14 foot cadence um, match rod now. I've had a couple on that, but it had gone off for a bit. So um, I was using, by the way, I was using um, Bread Flake. Sorry I'm sounding a bit um, quick here now because uh, I've had quite a good day for me. Uh, so I'm quite anxious to get back with, in with the fishing. But I just wanted to let you know I'm on Pig 82 on the Asda Bank in Hereford and it's going quite well at the moment so I'm going to pan you around so you can see the river and most of my fish have been coming from the middle of the river No, I'm starting to pick up some uh, nice dates as well. There's a, a nice dates for you guys. Let me get it a little bit redder. There you go. So I'm in again guys, another chub on, and again this was right out, this is a, uh, this one came in just past the middle, and for some reason these um, chub, they don't want to come in close at all. Give them like a little spin of the jerk now and again. Yeah, again, this is one of the better ones, so. This one's, uh, looks like he's been in the walls a bit as well. Okay, guys, I got a fish in the net here now, but, uh, it's got a bit of a saw on the one side of it, so what I've got is this stuff, it's called um, fish first aid, so I'm going to spray a little bit of that on the side of it, give it a second or so. There you go. I didn't. I uh, didn't show that fish. 
just because it had a little bit of a sore on the side of it. It wasn't too bad actually, I could have uh, showed you it, but uh, hopefully I'm going to catch another one in a minute, so... I don't know how many fish I've got now, I've probably got about 17 or 18 fish now, so... I know a lot of those fish are about a pound each, so... It's going really well at the moment. No, oh, I'm opposite the rugby club again. This time I'm uh, a few pegs down from the last time I fished here. And the last time I fished here, if you remember, guys, if you watched the video, I caught only a um, small chub. This is what happens on the way. Uh, the fish move up and down. You never know where they're going to be, which peg they're going to be in. So that's where I want it. So I've got a lot of uh, heavy mixed ground bait with me today. There's um, Sonny Bates River Roach and Sonny Beats Black River in it, and there's also um, a topsoil in it, a good quality topsoil in there as well. So we give them a really good cover for themselves as well. Shows down here at the moment, guys. Just about the net there. And there we go. And that, look at that, is one of the better ones. So this fish, which is uh, a slippery as hell, there you go guys, I'm trying to give you a better photograph than what I usually do, so there, there's the chub, he's going in the net now, he's in the net okay, so that was barely hooked, that was right on the top of uh, its mouth. So even though you're getting uh, like really positive bites, there is a chance you can miss them anyway because you you know you need to get a hook into these fish finally and um, it's around about nine foot deep that I'm fishing here now. Peg 82, like I said, at 10 foot. And uh, there's the maggots on the hook and I've caught three fish. 
so far on the three maggots. And I haven't uh, put a fresh maggot on yet because I'm putting three maggots on at a time. Three whites. And my thinking behind that is because I've been using bread, hopefully they'll um, show, out, show up a lot better in the water. So out again I'm going. Don't know whether you can pick the float up. What I was going to say to you as well is most of the fish are at least in the middle of the river. If you sort of come short of that, there's a fair chance you're going to pick up a dace. So you need to get it out quite fast. And that's why you need the extra weight with the bolo. But because you're fishing nine foot in depth, it's not that easy to cast the bolo out. But that was one of the, one of the good casts that I've done today. And that's back out in the middle again now. Um, I've had a ball, 15 to 15. Oh right, yeah. You went on a maggot, did you? I went on a maggot after, yeah, yeah, yeah. I gave into it. Yeah. It's a bit quiet down there, there's a guy on 89 on the flat float catching a few, but everybody else is scratching around a few perhaps, All right, it's I'm, not fast I'm filming few. a minute, Jacob, so... Oh yeah, sure, sorry, yeah. I'm making a video. <laughs> well, as soon as I come up here literally about four times a year, they've got a... Make them <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah, but yeah, no, so uh, it's not fishing well today, you're all round. Yeah, it's a little Don't tend to be down there, eh? over by where those steps are over there. Yeah. And um, if anything, most most of them are either in the middle or just past it. Yeah, I say it's like I would put feet right on that um, right on that shadow line out there. Weird, Turn isn't the it? and come down. You're right, sort of in the middle. Yeah. yeah. I think he's even asked a bit short, really. <laughs> Keep you busy, won't it? Keep you interested. Right, sir, I'll leave you to it. See you again sometime. Sorry about that, Gov. I just try to make the most of it today and not the. Uh, in much of a conversation. No, yeah, no problem, but I'll see you again. Tell her. I like to that. Right, uh, there was a gentleman um, chatting to me just now. Um, as I explained to him, I sort of come up here maybe four times a year. And the chap I was speaking to just now, he um, fishes on the way about four times a week. And, uh, you know, it's just like um, one of the ordinary days for him, what I'm doing here now. But he was talking so much 
that I, I couldn't concentrate on what I was doing with the fishing, so I'm not too disappointed that he's uh, moved on now. Huh. Uh, just noticed something. Is the Olivet on there has moved on, so uh, push that back up. And that doesn't help with your presentation in the water either. Do you want to keep your olive at around about three foot away, away from where your hook is? cast out a lot better now as well. It was just flopping over on itself. So sorry about that guys, you do get a bit distracted. It's difficult to um, film and fish at the same time because obviously you don't want to be looking at me all the time so I'm trying my best to uh, follow fishing to make sure that it's actually looking at something rather than me all the time because obviously you guys you want to see the fish some ground bait in here in a minute. So what he's been telling me, that guy, that he hasn't been fishing very well down here. Which is not much of a surprise because uh, they had one of the um, matches here Sunday, just gone. I mean there was quite a few anglers here obviously and they put a lot of baits in here. I'll take the days when I can. You know, if it's after the big match, there's not a lot I can do about that. Slopping over and mixed up here. It's not as um, firm as what I had here earlier on. Quite a lot of guys down here today um, fishing for pike and um, perch on the side of the water. There you go, guys, I'm in again. So these fish are definitely in the middle of the river. So bear that in mind when you come down here guys, is, uh, if you want to catch a chub you have to go right out. Obviously when the river's up you can get them closer in but at the moment they're right in the middle. And uh, you might pick one or two up in the side but the majority are in the, uh, and in the middle. Coming in, 
usual next call here. So it hooks out, and yet again, guys, this one went uh, jumping everywhere. So there you go. There's the old chub. Other one again, good, good pound back. So for me, it's been one of my better days on here today. Um, sort of can't impress on you too much how good this river is. You've got to uh, travel if you live any uh, distance away, obviously. Um, I come up from Cardiff, it's about 53 miles to me, and then a 53 mile back, so 106 miles in total. But to me, in Cardiff, there's just nothing like this at all. You know, you can fish a river tap and yeah, he may be lucky enough to catch a couple of big chub, but uh, the days when you can catch one after the other like this, uh, like, well, it, it seems to me at the present moment in time, in the past, there's just far too much uh, predation in the top at the moment. Now, these fish. They're not always in this peg. They do move up and down. But obviously if you um, happen to be on the shoulder then, you have to make noise because uh, you know it could be uh, another six or seven occasions I've done here and I don't have a, a net like this again. The only thing uh, with this Peg is it's so awkward to put a land in it because you've got the um, platform steps right behind you. But at the moment, I don't know really bothered about that because uh, I'm just happy enough to catch a few fish. That's another cast right in the middle. It's definitely where I want it. So, sorry again, back right out here in the middle again. This time it's gone through and uh, it's not much luck this time. It's just right down the end of the swim. Huh? It's been very lucky today that um, apart from a couple of perch anglers and pike anglers, it's on the opposite side of the river. I don't think there's anyone fishing above or below me, so obviously that would have uh, an impact on the fishing, especially uh, if they're a decent angler, because as all, all of you guys know, I've told you plenty of times, I'm just an amateur, I'm no professional. So that's right out there now. Taking the piece of bread like that, I got a size eight hook on, and I'm folding it over, just pinching the one side of it, 
and then I'm pushing the hook through the pad I've pinched and that's what it looks like and if I drag that back it's not as big as it looks on, on the camera that's because it's quite close to the camera there it's sort of a bow if I can put it into perspective maybe about that size so maybe the size of uh, just short of a 50 pence piece so I'm going to cast out now guys I've looked into a chip here now just going to bring it in Hey guys, that's the type of fish I'm catching. They're about a pound or so uh, in weight, most of them. And that was caught on um, triple maggots. Hey okay, guys, I got a chub on again. Come around to the side now. But all these fish are coming at least halfway across the river. So as I was saying, I was at Dace, and even that fish was right out in the middle. So I haven't been able to get these fish close at all today. But um, I can't do a lot more fishing now because it's starting to get late, and yeah, we all know by about five-ish, it's starting to get dark now. Um, first day out this season. Twenty ninth of January, two thousand and twenty-four. This is my latest video, and obviously a massive thank you to all these you guys that have subscribed to me. You know, over the Christmas period, and I've had picked up quite a few in January itself but as always guys if you like my videos give me a thumbs up if you want to see more of my videos click on the notification bell 
and if you care to subscribe to the channel it's a free subscription doesn't cost you anything and they'd be much appreciated because it'll help me to put more videos out for you guys again just looking for my bread a sec Now, shortly guys I'll be showing you the fish I got in the nets because I really do have to pack up shortly. Another fish on. Huh. Well, the last couple of fish have been dace, and they haven't been as a bad size. So I'm only catching them on bread. They're sort of like six or seven ounce days. If you're not catching a chub, you'll take them any day. I can see something moving by the side of me. It's um, one of those little Jenny Wren birds. I just, um, that's part of uh, my fishing now, is coming down by the river, just looking at nature. You look at it first hand, it's better than looking at the on, on any television. Being up close to it is great. Oh, something I did see in the uh, river about 20 minutes ago, it's a bit further down from where I'm fishing. It was a cormorant, so he's obviously been bothering the uh, fish in the water. So I didn't, don't know whether I mentioned it earlier on, but there it was uh, one of the matches on Hereford here yesterday. Um, most of the regulars fished it. I'm not sure whether it was one of their winter league matches, but um, a lot of these platform pegs were uh, taken up by the match anglers. In fact, probably all of them. Uh, I can't pick and choose when I come up the river. They sort of literally four or five times a year when I can get a day off because I'm still working at the moment. And that's what I fish with most of the uh, the day 
it hasn't been prolific fishing but it, it's been you know a tidy old day i must have got well over 20 pound of fish in the net i would have thought we'll soon find out when i bring them in but uh it's always the same all you guys out there who go fishing yourselves, you all know what it's like. One last cast, before you know it, you're uh, fishing in pitch black. But I've no doubt in my mind, there's no, it's come to the latter part of the afternoon. These fish will probably be feeding like mad now. There's a lot of dace in this room. I haven't gone for the dace. On other occasions, they're the fish I want to catch, but uh, not today. I've been more interested in picking up a few chub. I come up the river with the intention of catching a few chub, so. A lot of fish on again, you know, guys. This was quite the way down the river as well. I was going to be a bit of a while me bringing it back up. Uh, I'm hoping this is what I've uh, come up the river for. Hmm. Sorry, you can see uh, my back now at the moment while I'm fishing. It's um, too awkward, this peg is, for me to... Um, show me, show you rather, the uh, fish properly. He's in the net. Not a massive chub, but every one of them, uh, you know, is really good fun. And this fish is another pound fish. Right, the hook's out, and uh, at the risk of dropping it, because I usually do, but I'm showing you these fish. There you go, guys. So there you go, guys. That's uh, sort of top this day off, if you like. I wish you could have gone on a bit longer, but it is what it is. Chub, but um, really a uh, spirited fight in the, the flow, as you can imagine. Even though they're not massive fish by any means, you're sort of talking about uh, one pound, two ounces fish. That's probably running with the biggest ones, but the majority of them have been about a pound. But in the flow and the depth of water you've got here, because I'm fishing nine foot deep, you know, you you can feel the fish kicking right through the rod. So, I mean, if you had like um, too light a rod on in this peg, you'd probably be struggling. Did I risk another fish? A cat trying to catch another fish. <sighs> it's 
So for most of the day, guys, um, it's been the bread flake that has been the, uh, the thing that's catching me, the fish, anyway. There you go. Guys, I gotta, I gotta pack up. So I'm gonna put this rod down, bring the fish in, show you the fish, and then pack up. And off I go then. Eh? Twenty four, twenty five fish in there. Can't really give you much of a better view than what I got here now. Most of these fish. They're against each other, as you can see. You know, I'm pushing my hands down and I can't reach the bottom there, so I'm going to turn these out and then make my way back to Cardiff. see them guys that's maybe a slightly better view for you anyway I gotta put these back in oh definitely they've been out long enough 